Hey guys, what's going on? I'm finally going to finish up the series with this kitchen knife. If you guys remember, I this knife was extremely bad. It was chipped out. It was dull as anything. It was just in a horrible, horrible condition. And I uh, started with 320 grit, went up to, I think, 80, 800 grit. Yeah, went to 320 grit, went up to 800 grit. And uh, now finally doing 2000 grit. Uh, just to finish this off, it's this is unnecessary for this blade. Uh, for, you know, for this kitchen knife, really don't need to be doing this. But my whole goal for this sharpening series was to show you guys that you can do these steps exactly what I did to your good pocket knives, to your higher quality knives. And I chose this knife with this crappier steel because I knew it would work faster. Uh, this lesser steel will take to sharpening quicker and polishing quicker than a better superior steel such as S30V or any of those pretty much. So I use this knife to show you guys just so I can capture the results on camera. Everything I've done everything I've done with this knife has been on camera. I haven't touched it off camera. Right now I have about 22 minutes of sharpening time into this probably. And if you look at the initial edge which I posted uh, which I showed you guys a couple videos back. I mean it's it's horrible. So without further ado, 2000 grit Gonna see what you know how much finer we can get this edge, slice some phone book paper, and be about it, alright guys? So we can finally bring this to an end. Normally I would be using two hands to better control the knife like such. But I'm kinda gotten used to doing it this way. And uh, with sandpaper on with sandpaper on regular paper, you know, I have a phone book under this and then this graph paper just because it softens it up a little bit. Um, you you kind of have to hold the sandpaper down, so. But, uh, whew, it's about noon and I'm exhausted, guys. Not because I've been doing so much today, but the past couple days, couldn't sleep worth a crap at all. I almost made... I almost made a video two nights ago, or last night, at like 3 a.m., just because I, I had nothing else to do. I couldn't sleep. I cleaned the whole apartment. I read some, you know, I read some stuff. I watched videos, and I just couldn't fall asleep. And it's the worst. So I almost made a rambling 3 a.m. video just, I don't know, just to do something. All right, this at this grit, it's not gonna take much time. I'm really doing this just to polish up the edge, to show you guys a little bit of a difference, and um, hopefully, I'll refine the edge a little bit. There was still one chip left, at least one, one big one, and maybe one smaller one in this knife that I didn't get out the 320 grit just for the sheer fact of speeding up the video. Um, I didn't want to bore you guys too much, but I did want to convey what can be done with simple sandpaper so hopefully through these series you guys see that you can easily take a knife that's in horrible condition and I don't think I don't think the pocket knives that most people carry that most you guys will have I mean if you're watching this video you're probably um, you probably know what you're doing you're probably a fan of pocket knives you probably don't let them get out of control bad so you'll never have a knife as bad as this and I just wanted to show you guys that just this kind of sandpaper can take it to a good polished and hopefully um, foam book paper slicing edge with you know ten dollars of materials. So I probably I was probably talking and you guys couldn't really hear the sound of the knife, but when I first started doing this, it was a little bit louder than it is now. And I think that's because I had an eight hundred grit edge and now I have closer to a 2000 grit edge. So once you get closer to your grit, uh, to the grit of the stone or the sandpaper that you're sharpening on, uh, it definitely quiets down a little bit. It's, it's more smooth against each other, it's less rough, and you can pretty much hear that. So just uh, another little tip you know, to pay attention to when you're sharpening. Uh, not only really use your eyes and look at the angle, but I mean you can tell by feel, especially with stones more, you can tell by feel and also, um, you know, sound. If you if you go up on an edge, you're gonna hear it. If you go down too much and you have a V grind and it hits that shoulder, uh, you know, it hits that shoulder right there, um, you're gonna hear it. So you know, just first couple times you do something like this, pay attention. You know, it's gonna 
focus. You're going to hear it. You'll be able to see it. And I think we're pretty much done with this. I'm going to use this cork just to remove any you know metal shavings on it. And that's already a good sign. You, when the knife bites into that cork like that, you know, this part I haven't really touched. So it's kind of moving along, and now it bit in right there. So that's a good sign. It bit in pretty well. All right, let's get um, let's get some foam book paper and see what this can do. I don't know if you can see. Probably is not in good focus, but there you go. You can kind of see the polish on that. Uh, sorry, guys, my camera does not have autofocus, so if I bring it up here, it's just going to be blurry. So hopefully this will be in frame. There's the chip, but there you go. I'll see if you guys can see it better like this. Not bad. It gets hung up on a chip every once in a while. It's not bad. Can you guys see that? Not really. Sorry. There you go. That's not too bad. That's, you know, that's when it's not hanging up on a chip, it's almost no resistance. I mean, this knife is very thin, which definitely helps. But um, there's a couple chips. There's one, there's a big one right here, and there's another one, a little, a smaller one, somewhere up here. So if I just use the, you know, the end of the knife, it slices pretty well. Uh, it might even push. You know, sorry guys, I'm going to reorient you. Yeah, I mean, that, that's as good as you're going to need something like this, especially with this crappier steel. Um, I don't know what the, I don't even know what the steel is. But uh, not bad for, I think this, I mean, with the quality of this knife and how old it is, this is pro this was probably a $2 knife, you know, 20 years ago. So, I think these are pretty good results. Uh, you can definitely do this. No, that didn't work. There you go. Uh, you can definitely do this with your pocket knives uh, with better steels. It's just, uh, it's just gonna take a little bit longer. Sorry, I was trying to cut and talk at the same time. Didn't work out. But, sorry. Um, you can definitely get these results. You can definitely get it shaving sharp. Uh, hair foam book uh, paper slicing sharp uh, push cutting um, with a better steel kind of you know steel like a super steel on this on the design you know S30V D2 8CR MOV I mean you could do it with this it might take a little bit longer because the steel is going to be more resistant to sharpening uh, but that's natural um, I chose the steel so it'd be quicker and I can show you everything on video this is about 25-30 minutes of, sh of sharpening time to get these results. Uh, I think that's pretty darn good for a total of 10 bucks in materials. So, hopefully uh, you guys got something out of it. I hope that helps some people with these videos. You can take your good pocket knife and go through the exact steps I showed you guys and get these, uh, you know, get good results in under a half an hour, hopefully. Uh, and I'll remember, the the biggest video, the video that took up the most time was a 320 grit because I had to take big chips out all along the blade. So, um, and you're not going to have to do that most likely. You know, 99% of you aren't going to have to do that. So, you should be able to get great results in under half an hour. No big deal. And the great thing with sandpaper is if you mess up, you know, a couple, you know, you're not, you're not perfect with your technique yet, big deal. It's, it's not really going to mess up your knife too bad. It's not uh, definitely something that's not fixable. All right, guys, so hopefully you got something out of this. I hope I was able to help some of you. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, thanks a lot.